in this video have explained the procedure to find the root of an equation by using newton raphson method and one example of finding the root of an equation by using newton raphson method like the video subscribe to the channel share this video link with your friends put this video in your status gain the knowledge and rule the world like the video share the video link with your friends and write the comments subscribe to the channel to find root of an equation by using newton raphson method the procedure is they will be giving an equation and that equation you need to consider as f of x let f of x is equal to 0 be the given equation and let us assume that the root is near to xn then the newton raphson formula is given by xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn where f dash of xn is the derivative of f of x with respect to x where n is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 etc here they will be giving the initial value if the initial value has been not given then substitute the value of x in the given equation that is for an f of x choose the x value such that it is nearly equal to 0 and consider that as x 0 and solve the problem find the root of an equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 which is near to 2 using newton raphson method solution they have given x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 and consider this as f of x so let f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 then next we need to find the differentiation of f of x and for that purpose we'll be using an differentiation in this manner it is the differentiation of x to the power n with respect to x will be equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 differentiation of x to the power n with respect to x will be equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 so based upon this we when we differentiate f of x with respect to x we get f dash of x is equal to 3x square minus 2 because x cube means n is equal to 3 that means 3 into x to the power of 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 will be 2 therefore it will be 3x square minus 2x that means x to the power 1 so that can be done as 1 into x to the power 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 x to the power 0 will be 1 2 into 1 will be 2 for that purpose f dash of x is equal to 3x square minus 2 also they have given the given equation is x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 which is near to 2 that means the initial guess they have given as 2 therefore we consider x not is equal to 2 we know that by newton raphson method the formula to find the root of an equation is given by xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn where f dash of xn is the derivative of f of xn here the value of n will be 0 1 2 3 4 etc but initially we start with the value of n is equal to 0 let us move on to the solution f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5 f dash of x is 3x square minus 2 and x not is equal to 2 so first initially find f of x not and f dash of x not first f of x not that is f of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 2 into 2 minus 5 is equal to <coughs> minus 1 then f dash of x not that is f dash of 2 is equal to 3 into 2 to the power 
minus 2 is equal to 10. First approximation. By newton raphson method, we know the formula to find the root of an equation is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So here it is the first approximation. Therefore, x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. So we can write x0 is 2 and f of x0 is minus 1. And because f of 2 is equal to minus 1, f dash of 2 is 10. So therefore, we can write x1 is equal to 2 minus, within the bracket, minus 1 divided by 10. So while writing in the calculator, you need to write in this format, open the bracket, 2 minus, again open the bracket, minus 1 divided by 10, close the bracket, again close the bracket. And here, remember one thing, when we are writing minus 1, at that time, the minus, you need to use the small minus which is present in the calculator. It means open the bracket 2 minus, that is unbreak minus which is present in the calculator. After that, open the bracket. Now, this minus should be a small one which is present in the calculator. After that, 1 divided by 10, close the bracket, again close the bracket. So, it will give the answer and that answer is 2.1. Therefore, x1 is equal to 2.1. Now, we shall move on to the second iteration. So, x1 is 2.1. So, first find f of 2.1 and f dash of 2.1. f of 2.1 is equal to 2.1 cube minus 2 into 2.1 minus 5 is equal to 0 0.061. So this one we get by substituting 2.1 in f of x equation. The next one is f dash of 2.1. This one we get by substituting 2.1 in f dash of x equation. That is f dash of 2.1 is equal to 3 into 2.1 square minus 2 is equal to 11.23. Second approximation is according to the newton raphsons method to find the root of an equation, the formula is xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. And since it is a second approximation, we can write the formula as x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1. Now, here x1 is 2.1 and f of 2.1 is 0 0.061 and f dash of 2.1 is 11.23. Writing those values, we can write x2 is equal to 2.1 minus 0 0.061 divided by 11.23. In the calculator, we can write in this format, open the bracket 2.1 minus, open the bracket 0 0.061 divided by 11.23, close the bracket, again close the bracket. So this will give the answer and that answer will be of an x2 and x2 is equal to 2.0946. x2 is equal to 0.946. Now we have got x2 is equal to 2.0946. Now find f of x2 and f dash of x2. That is f of 2.0946 and this one we get by substituting 2.0946 in f of x equation that is f of 2.0946 is equal to 2.0946 whole cube minus 2 into 2.0946 minus 5 f of 2.0946 is equal to 2.0946 cube minus 2 into 2.0946 minus 5 is equal to 0 0.0005. The next f dash of 2.0946, this we get by substituting 2.0946 in the equation f dash of x. That is f dash of 2.0946 is equal to 
3 into 2.0946 whole square minus 2 is equal to 11.1620 and since this is a third approximation third approximation is and according to the newton raphson formula to find the root of an equation we know that xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn therefore since it is a third approximation we can write x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2 we can write x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 divided by f dash of x2 so here x2 is 2.0946 and f of 2.0946 is 0 0.005 and f dash of 2.0946 is 11.1620 therefore we can write x3 is equal to 2.0946 minus 0 0.005 divided by 11.1620 and upon writing this one in the calculator you can write in this format open the bracket 2.0946 minus again open the bracket 0 0.005 divided by 11.1620 close the bracket again close the bracket upon this one we get the answer and that answer is of an x3 Therefore, x3 is equal to 2.0946. Now, previously in the x2, you have got 2.0946. Here also you have got 2.0946. Therefore, the required root for a given equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 2.0946. Therefore, the required root is 2.0946. This is the root for a given equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 by using Newton Raphson method. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this link with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world.